scale from one to ten, how excited are you today? <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Ten. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome, man. It's been six months since we've done a donation. Yeah. And it feels like even longer than that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take you along with us to go over and hang out with uh, Veterans Healing Veterans mm -hmm. and the Veteran Transition Center over in Monterey, California, doing awesome things in the community. Yes. This is like no other veteran organization that we've ever donated to. No, and I like that. Very unique, and you'll see why here in a little bit. Um, so stick around to the mm -hmm. end. We're going to tell you all about uh, these organizations, how they work together. Uh, we're going to show you some of the veterans that have been impacted by the organization. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, we are going to present to them a check that you helped us um, mm -hmm. raise. That's right. And it is the largest check Today. that we've ever given away. That's right. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. So stick around. Here we go. Veterans Healing Veterans from the Inside Out was established and founded in 2012 within the walls of San Quentin Prison by Ron Self, a former combat Marine veteran. I attempted suicide. I hung myself, the rope broke, and while I was on my knees, an idea kind of sprung to life in my mind about being better and doing better. And I spent the next year in the Prison University Project at San Quentin writing the curriculum for this program. So many veterans were getting out and becoming homeless and going back to prison because they didn't know, one, about the things available to them or anyone to help them do it. Ron paroled out in 2017. We've expanded to a few more other, few other prisons. In addition, we have partnered with a place called the Veterans Transition Center, which is where our offices are located. It's in Monterey County. The mission of VTC is to empower veterans as they transition from crisis to self-sufficiency. We start with housing, get them under our roof, and then we do all the wraparound service, which includes food, clothing, counseling, life skills, substance abuse counseling. So we met Ron Self. Like all the other veterans, where they come from isn't important. Our job is to get them through whatever they're dealing with and to integrate them back into society. Inside and outside, we are providing more of that mental health. Um, we hold a group on the outside and in it's addressing the mental and emotional needs as veterans are transitioning. There is no stigma attached to it. They're in a supportive veteran community with like-minded people here to help. 50 different veterans have come through here and successfully reintegrated back into society. Veterans get treated like veterans out here. That was surprising to me. When you walk out of prison, when they shut the door behind you, it's scary because you can't turn around and go back in. The guy locked the door and walked away. So what do I do now? These guys that are doing the work deserve a second chance. I really believe that. We're a stepping stone to get you on your own two feet. And so there's certain things that will help you do while you're inside, getting your birth certificate, um, you know, getting your VA benefits signed up for as much as you can by working with your CalVet rep or your VSO. And then once they come here, um, we'll have, they'll have an idea as, as how it's laid out, what they can expect when they come out this way. First day of freedom, the, if, you, if they come here, Ron and, and probably more than likely Sam will come pick you up and get you something to eat. The first few moments of somebody's true freedom is, is profound and um, it's, it's been very special to me to be able to be part of that. I mean, they picked me up at the gate. We went out and had something to eat. The first time in a restaurant is, is just the food and there's so much food. Got a chance to talk to Ron. He picked me up. And here's what's going on, here's what you're going to go through, here's what you're going to feel. Nobody bothers to tell you when you get out that's going to be very emotional. After 32 years, uh, everything's changed. And your mindset inside is one thing, your mindset outside, outside is a whole different story. It was uh, very shocking. Uh, I never thought it would do it, but I broke down in tears because I couldn't believe I was free. Culture shock. Uh, I was incarcerated for almost 40 years, so uh, it, it takes uh, getting used to. Yeah, well, it was basically overwhelming uh, being down as long as I've been down, um, not knowing where I was going to go or where, you know, what was going on with my life. It's good to be in a place to where you have people to help you out, get the things that have to be done, teach you how to use the bus, simple things that people take for granted. I've been out 100 days. 
I've got my social security. I went to the VA, I have hearing aids. I got new glasses. I have retirement, social security. I've got a good life ahead of me. I'm employed, currently employed. I have a vehicle. I'm uh, living on my own now, uh, about two months. I have my own apartment. So I'm, I'm proud of the transition that I made. I'm proud of the steps that I've made to, uh, to like I said, get back into uh, society. Like the Price is Right says, come on down. This is the spot to be. Let me tell you, I don't care what anybody else say. Come down to Monterey Veterans Transition Center. We're here with Bobby and Ron and Zacharias from Veterans Healing Veterans, and, and we're so excited to be here and meet with you guys. We just had a great conversation you know, off camera in your, in your office there, and uh, you guys are doing awesome things in the community. And as a, as a thank you for that, we're here to make a donation. And we also want to raise awareness uh, on our YouTube channel so that others can donate. And we know that some of you out there um, don't donate to us because we are not a nonprofit. So we encourage you to make a donation directly to Veterans Healing Veterans. We'll put everything that you need to know down in the description of the video. Before I do that, um, Ron, Bobby, Zacharias, tell us a little bit uh, about if people donate today, what's the biggest need? Where's the money going to? Uh, for us on the VHV side of it, we would buy computers and tech for the guys coming out because they've never used a computer. They don't have right. a computer or a phone. Yeah. On the VTC side of it, Zach could speak to that. So one of the biggest needs that we have right now is we actually have a lot of veterans lined up for housing moving into their apartments. And so we would be paying for their initial deposit. And if we get enough funding, we could even pay for the first month's rent so that they have some money. For nice. this, for this season. And how many veterans do you have in the program currently? Uh, on VTC side, we have about 75 veterans currently in the program. Yeah. And on the VHV side, we have 14 with a okay. capacity for 26, and we're getting that influx weekly. Yeah, we were talking off camera, and you said you're getting a couple every week now. Yeah, one today, right now. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> so there's an immediate need right now for yeah. the money. All right. So now, um, not only are we going to make a donation to the organization. Uh, it is the largest donation that we've ever made to any veteran organization since we've been on the road. We could not do it without you helping us, watching our videos, donating, um, buying stuff on Amazon, buying Wag Swag, yep. joining us on Patreon. All that stuff contributes to being able to, to do things like we're doing today. Thank you guys so much for everything you're doing in the veteran community. This is just a small token of our appreciation. And we hope that this small donation that we make today will make a lasting impact for Veteran Healing Veterans and for the Veteran Transition Center. So, biggest to date. Yeah. So we'd like to present you with a check for $3,000. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we will impact some lives. Yeah, um, most definitely. This oh yeah, this is gonna get used today. <laughs> <laughs> already spent. Cool. Yeah, thank I'm so speechless. Yeah, thank, you. Oh, thank, you. And thank everybody thank out there. Thank you for letting us come. And thank yeah. your, your audience and your fans that follow. Um, because yeah. you know, while we don't know them, they're yeah. directly <laughs> contributing to helping veterans. Yeah, and keep it up. So we'll be yes. out there giving more money away Couldn't to veterans. Them. All right, stick around for a couple more seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero like we do at the end of all of our videos. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans on the road like we just did today, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.